My name is John Frank. I'm an electrical engineer with the Rocky Mountain Research Station. So I work at the field site, the Glacier Lakes Ecosystems Experiment Site, we call it GLEES, and uh, we have a carbon uh, flux tower, and there we're studying the exchange of carbon and water between the forest ecosystem and the, and the atmosphere. So we were up there detecting uh, basically how the trees breathe in and out water throughout a beetle epidemic. And it was pretty fascinating to watch them die. Uh, when they initially are attacked, uh, you can see the bark beetles come through and, uh, and basically put the trees into severe drought stress, and so they can't move water. After a couple years, the trees die, and it was uh, pretty fascinating. You can see uh, the carbon sink just plummet. Our forest, uh, over a course of a few years, changed from being a carbon uh, sink to being carbon neutral to ultimately being a carbon source. So that has you know, major implications for things like climate change. It's not often that you get to go you know, work at a field site at a high elevation every week for your entire career. It's pretty fascinating. There's a certain amount of adventure to it. The Forest Service uh, uh, called and, and, and needed someone with my skill set and I had a, kind of a moment where I had to decide what I wanted to do for my career and uh, I just decided I wanted to do the job that would uh, get me to wake, wake me up in the morning and so that's what ultimately brought me to the Forest Service. I knew that uh, most electrical engineering jobs would be uh, in a laboratory or behind a computer and this would be an opportunity to do electrical engineering outdoors. 